think our way is clear. Yeah, be careful. All right, we're heading into Entrada. They're new. They got all kind of new stuff going. All brand new signs and entryways. Look at that, beautiful. There's the new entryway. They got the water running now. It took a long time to get this entryway created. Um, there was some DOT and county and local ordinance things they had to work through as far as positioning of signs and walk signs and stuff but they got it done now people started moving in um buyers started moving in um i don't know six seven months about six months ago five six months ago we've helped quite a few folks in here too so as we know entrada is going to be just under uh, a thousand homes um they're express models and they're standard dr horton models Okay. The first section over here, which we've done a lot of video on that, if you look at my past videos, we'll take a quick peek through there so you can see how much building has gone on. Um, but these are express homes, 40s, 40 foot lots, most of them, some 50s. Most of them sold, if not all of them sold. And DR Horton, um, their company policy, no matter which community it is, is they don't sell a house until the foundation is poured. So that's what they call phase two in their building process. So as soon as the foundation is poured, they can sell the house, okay? Again, very nice. You can get a good, clean look at the streetscape now that all of these here in this section are done. My last video showed these were there, a lot of them were still foundation, bare lots, framing, what have you. So we'll do this, then I'll take and show you some of the other areas that they're now really building in. And um, as you know from my last video, multiple types and sizes of homes, floor plans, ranging anywhere from about 1,700 square foot, I think 1,701 is the Heron, um, to about 35 and change, which is a two-story two -story Talbert, which is about it's a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. So lots of different sizes to fit, a lot of different needs. You know, a lot of folks ask me on the on the, the YouTube questions, you know, the comments, why we don't put dollars or average costs or what have you in the um, videos. That's because they change so much. It's crazy. Um, I don't want to give you guys bad information. So anytime you need that information, just give me a call. We'll get current stuff. We can get, we know all the side agents. We work with all of them. We can get all the current information, all the current pricing, um, especially in the, the times that we live in with supply chain and labor issues and cost of doing business. It's crazy. So you see a lot of these are in framing down here. A lot of lo nice lots too, still available. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let me get, uh, I'm gonna shut the video off and we're gonna go on over to the other section, okay? All right, we're back out on the main road coming in. Um, just one thing I also want to remind you that uh, very few Older communities in southern St. John's County, St. Augustine, are natural gas communities. But in Trotby, as new as it is, it is definitely a natural gas community. So you can see that they're working on the amenity center. I just did a video in here just, I don't know, a month or so ago showing an update of the um, amenity center, which they're doing now. It's going to have a fitness center, zero entry pool, um, meeting spaces, all kind of cool stuff. Okay. So we're gonna go on past, they got the two model homes over here ready to go. They've been up for quite a few months now. I'm gonna go ahead and get um, get some uh, videos done today as well. If we keep going that way, you'll see some cool area. That's gonna be kind of into the gated area, so I'm about dropping a camera. But we're gonna take a left over here. You're gonna see where there's a lot more building going on, some larger lots. Some of these are 50 foot lots over here. So we're gonna take a left here by the model. There we go. There's our model. One's a Camellia, and the other one is a da -da -da -da, Cali. So they got one of each, actually there's three models, I'm sorry. And the Berkeley. So they have two Express models and one, if you will, a standard model, a D.R. Horton standard model. And I'll explain the differences when we're in there. So here with Jamara Court. Lots of, you know, houses are pretty well built down there, but a lot of the building going on is back over here. And if you guys remember that video from the um, industrial park over there, or the commercial complex, that road, that dirt road that we didn't go down, dead, it, dead ended into the back of this section of, I believe it's this section. If it's not, then it's got to be the gated section in the back. We'll see here in a minute. So anyway, lots of building going on, lots of opportunity here in, in, uh, in, in Trotta. Again, Sharon and I are your boots on the ground. We monitor our new builds we do 
we've done so many this year for clients it's crazy we work with the superintendents i know all of them in all the communities whether it's dear horton dream finders lennar madame pulte toll brothers it doesn't matter and we know all the side agents and have a personal relationship with them so you know we can, we get information maybe a little sooner than others and i know a lot of realtors can tell you that but i'm out in the street all the time and we all know each other very well all right so i don't see that so it might be on the back side but nonetheless this is where they're building in this area here sorry about it, keeping the drop in that camera I'm trying to turn these corners so all right so there's one more section you know i continually call it the gated section because there will be a gated section in the back and there's gonna be a little larger lots larger homes um standard deal horton products again i'll explain all that when we get into the models okay so let me put you on hold i'll be right back Hey, as I was driving by, you know, before we go back to the back section, the site agents aren't here yet, so we can't get in and do the models. But this is the Camellia. This is one of the models that's going back in the gated section in the very back side. <clears throat> well, it'll have a three-car garage. This is one of mine, and we'll see it when we're able to do the um, actual video inside today. Um, one of my favorite models that D.R. Horton does in Entrada. It's a beautiful floor plan, so you'll see that here momentarily. Um, so we're going to take a walk over here. You get to see the other, other two, at least from the outside in the front. They did a nice job here in their model center. They always do. Like the one at Parkland Preserve is very nice. And we'll go over there, and we're going to do some more updates over there as well. But this is the Cali. <clears throat> this is an express home. Okay, and just so you know, when they say express home, what they mean by that, it's a... It's a less expensive home, generally, because they're using um, roll, you know, floor vinyl, rolled vinyl, um, laminate countertops, things of that nature, plastic inserts and like the master, master showers, things like that. Not bad, just less expensive, and it helps make things paddleable. This is the Berkeley. It's another one, a good one. Um, I've walked through that. It's got a nice little, that's a washer and dryer space up there, if I remember correctly. But these homes are still built the exact same standards every other home's built to has to be because it has to meet st john's county building codes it's just the interior um accoutrements i call them are less expensive than the quartz and stuff that you'll find like in the in the standard dr horton product that we'll film for you all right so no big deal and i always tell folks all the time it's a great way to get in an inexpensive home especially in st john's county and then at, over time you, you tune it up right you just make it your own and of course these are right these models are right across from the, the new amenity center, which is going to be a phased amenity center. They're building the main area now, but as the community grows, and it is already growing like nobody's business, I know how many we've helped in here, this whole area here is going to be more amenities. So it's all going to be in one area, I believe. At this point, that's the plan, but they'll just kind of keep growing it as the need arises, okay? All right, so let's go see if we can get back to the back section here. Okay, we've left the amenity center. Hopefully my seatbelt doesn't ding on me here. And we're heading back towards the gated section. And this right here is gonna be a lot of green space here in Entrada. All of that, that's wetlands in there. That's not gonna ever change, okay? All this area right over here, we're coming up on our left. Same deal, that's all, that's all green space that will be left in here, okay? coming around we got a big circle we're coming up to and they're clearing land over here to the right as well again because there's going to be close to a thousand homes just under a thousand homes in here so we got that stuff going on they're clearing land so we're going to go back here originally this area was going to be a 55 plus well there's a seat belt hold on a second It'll, it will not give us a moment's rest if i don't put it on um that was going to be a 55 plus back there there we go, sorry about that. And uh, they decided to make it not. So all these will be, I'm assuming all these will be home sites. There's a big retention pond being dug in there. I'm not sure if that's going to be green space or homes. I can't see it being that big a green space. More than likely it's going to be homes. We got wildlife crossing. Because in this area there are lots of deer still and turkeys. <clears throat> So, which is very cool. Um, let's see here, coming up. Yeah, they already got the, they already started working on the entrance. Last time I was out here, it was just dirt and the curbing and everything had been put up for where they pulled the uh, conduits for the electric wires for the gates. Now the gates are all up and everything. So it'll probably be what they call an Innerva system where it's um, there's nobody manning it, but there'll be a button to push or you'll have the you'll have a deal up on your windshield like I got on mine for our community. <clears throat> so this is gonna be very nice. All right, 
we're going to take a left We've got lots of development going on over there but over here in the left and this is is where they've been doing mo the bulk of the building there's a lake in the middle here and a lake in the middle here as you can see but a lot of gr a lot of homes back up to green spaces too i haven't seen on the site map very many backing up to each other there are some but um as of right now most of these just back up to green space and water which is really nice and you can see these are 53 foot lots over here so they're a little bigger than the express homes on the uh, in the phase first phases okay a lot of different varieties the left side here seems to have more houses house is fairly complete so i'm going to let you kind of look at those that one is going to be like the model home there i can tell that by the shape of that front door area so lots of stuff in lantanas um avons cliftons not avons but cliftons cordovas talberts Belfort's a lot um, a lot of different variety a lot of different price points and again we can't really put price points in videos just because they change so much so much um, and we don't want to give you guys bad information so please just call us and we'll let you know what the current stuff is we'll get it from the side agents and stuff um, looks like they got a lot going on back there we're gonna stop right here it's not much there but dirt and land so anyway so that is the new Entrada me turn it around I'm not really good at this because I don't think it should be about Dwight it should be about what I'm trying to show you guys so I'm not big into putting myself in the video but I just wanted to let you know that we're here for you guys Sharon and I um, our level of customer service second to none we care take a look at our Google reviews our Zillow reviews I think you'll uh, you'll agree you'll be impressed give us a call interview us um, we try to stay up as much as possible on what's going on in St. Charles County you know things like that and try to make sure you're educated because without good education a home in Entrada may not be the right home if we don't have the right education so anyway give us a call give us a like give us a thumbs up that'd be very cool subscribe to our channel um and if you just want to call and chat and just ask about our area we're good with that too so anyway hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks let me shut this off i apologize